Hello everyone, this is Farah. Welcome to my channel. And if you're new, thank you so much for joining. I hope you come back and I would love it if you love this video that you would subscribe. Um, today I'm going to get right into it. I am going to show you guys a comparison between two nylon backpacks that I own. If you watch my channel, you know I love handbags, I love fashion, um, but it's also functional to have a couple backpacks. And for me, just nylon backpacks are the way to go. I love using them during travel, um, weekends out, parks, little hikes, that kind of thing. I think they're just so functional. So I'll show you the two that I have. So I'm going to get right into it. My first backpack is this one. This is the Rebecca Minkoff Julian backpack. This is in a dark, like blue, navy blue color. You see that color. And then my other backpack that I'm going to share with you guys is this one. This is my Longchamp Le Pliage bag in the color red. So these two I've had for some time, and so I would say I've really gotten a chance to use them, um, see which one I like, see which one I like better, see which one, you know, pros and cons between the two. If I hold them, I will say this is a little bit heavier, just a touch heavier, and I think it's probably because there's this hardware on here um, that's kind of a classic Rebecca Minkoff look and I think that and some of the other hardware here give that little extra heft to it um, whereas this one is much much lighter. Um, aesthetically looking I think they both look really nice they're just so different looking. I do like kind of how this Longchamp look is. Um, it's kind of just classic to the other bag so I really like that but then I love Rebecca Minkoff and Rebecca Minkoff always has this and like the fringe with her other bags I do appreciate that as well. So I'm going to kind of go through each bag um, and kind of tell you the different aspects of them and then kind of compare them at the end. So the Longchamp bag, it's the Longchamp Blade Pliage. It has a little zipper pull there that says Longchamp. So there's also Longchamp here on the push button closure and then back there as well. It's also got a little snap there because the one thing with Longchamp is you can actually fold them down. Um, you can like fold it all the way down, kind of like that, and it's good for traveling. And a lot of people love the long short backpack just for ease of um, storage because you can't fold them down. So the way you open this is you just pop open the snap closure, and then it's just a zip there. It opens up on the inside just to a big kind of fits like my whole hand going down. So just a big opening there. And the only organization it has is just has one pocket right over there, which I can kind of fit my hand into. There is um, no back pocket or side pockets or anything, just that one large opening. And it's got fabric straps that are adjustable. And they just kind of hang down like this. So that's kind of a very simple design. Um, simple but useful. And then my Rebecca Minkoff Julian backpack. This is how it looks like. Its main compartment is open by the zipper pull, which has the little fringe. And they give some extra fringe um, when I bought this. But you just open it all the way down. It's a really nice zipper. It opens to a wide compartment just like this. And you really can see the top bottom of this compartment because of where the zipper is. But also my hand can go into that. And it just says Rebecca Minkoff right there inside. And there are no pockets or anything inside. It's just a large opening. Now on the outside, I zip this back up, there is two pockets, one on this side, one on this side. This side does say Rebecca Minkoff right there. And then you open this, and it's a pretty good sized pocket and you can fit a lot of snacks, keys, even phone, um, wallet that can all go in there. And then the other side opens up the same way. So you got one pocket there, and one pocket there, two pockets. And then this is the clasp here. Now the clasp is kind of decorative, but there is a function to it. I'm going to just set these up and show you. So 
you look here on the top, there's this little ring here that just kind of hangs there. Um, you can use this to kind of hang it up. Let's say you're in the bathroom and you know the little hooks there, you can use it to hang it up. You could also use this one too, but this is a little bit more sturdy. But another thing you can do is you can take this clasp off down here. And you see how the zipper is kind of exposed. Here, if you take this and you connect it to this one here, you actually hide the zipper. It gives a whole new look to the bag, um, leaves this ring open but then it kind of covers up the zipper inside. So it's kind of like an extra security uh, if you're traveling or going somewhere, which I think is kind of cool. And it, again, changes the look of the bag. Most of the time I will say, just because I'm trying to get in and out of the zipper and if that is on, it's, you know, your hand is kind of in the way, I usually will tap this off and hooked over here. And just so you know, you can hook other things to that if you'd like. Um, this one on the back, there is a back pocket and pretty deep my hand goes all the way in but it's a nice large back pocket all of this is nylon including the strap which is adjustable and then it's got a little top handle here which i forgot to mention long shop has a little top handle there as well so that's kind of the overall of the bag all the zippers um have this little fringe detail to it which is super cute and so I feel like it gives that classic Rebecca Minkoff um, little look with all these little details. So here are my two nylon bags. Um, now kind of just compare, contrast those, which one is my favorite. Um, as far as wear, both are really comfortable, really light. I think they look really nice. This one, like I mentioned, is just a touch heavier, but not anything significant but both wear really nice, are really comfortable on the body. Um, this one, if you'll see, if you look, it kind of goes, you know, it's a little smaller and then it kind of widens as it goes to the end. Whereas this one is kind of just straight all the way down. It's just one thing to keep in mind when it's kind of sitting on your back. So a lot of items kind of fall a little bit more here and you can kind of feel the slouch. Whereas here, um, depending on, you know, it fills up here, but if it keeps filling, it kind of stays a little bit straight just because of the structure of the bag. This bag is uh, more structured. Um, so pros and cons, what are my thoughts? Um, this bag, I love the look of it. You know, I think it's just a classic Longchamp look um, with the snap closure here, the, you know, the leather detail here. I really do like the look of it. Um, the structure of it is nice. Now, I will say the couple things I do not like about this is one, it's got really sharp corners that you know give it that structure. Whereas you'll see on the Julian backpack, there is no corners. Everything is rounded off. So a lot of times with backpacks, you know, it's on you, it's rubbing against you. You put it down. These corners rub, and you know my corners right now don't show any signs of wear, but I have seen ones that have been much more worn than mine that these corners do show wear over time, so something to be mindful of. The other thing that um, I wish they had changed is if you look at those straps in the back, they are adjustable, which is nice, but they have these tags that just hang down. Um, for me, I have it on a setting that I like, but then it's just such long fabric, you know, uh, straps hanging down. I wish they would have just enclosed it to allow it to be, you know, put on like this um, so that didn't happen. If you look on the Rebecca Minkoff, the way they have their straps, it's kind of enclosed in here so you don't have that tag hanging down. And I feel like that would have been such an easy fix to, to do that instead of hanging down because this, you know, drags, um, it gets dirty, gets caught on things. I just don't like it. If you guys have an easy way in which to, you know, that looks nice to kind of put it on like this, um, let me know. I would love to know that hack because that is one of the things that really just annoys me about this. Um, I've even sometimes tried like tying these two together behind my back, but then you feel the knot, you know, in your back. So it's not a fun feeling, but um, that I really don't like. And of course, the fact that there is not much organization to this, it is just one big, you know, opening, which is nice, but you don't have really anything other than that. This pocket here is very small. I mean, it's really hard to put much in there. Um, sometimes I'll put my keys in there or like a card, but um, not too much else otherwise goes in there. 
It does not have a back pocket like I mentioned. The back pocket in the Julian is just so convenient, so handy. Um, so overall, I love the look of this. I love how light this is. I love how it's just has that classic long shop look um, and just the ease of the you know the zipper opening, grab stuff and go, it's nice. Uh, now the Rebecca Minkoff Julian backpack, I think is my favorite. <laughs> I think between the two, it is my favorite. Reason being, it's just so um, comfortable and the straps, I love that, you know, again, there's no tags of it hanging down. You can really adjust it and it, it uh, hangs nicely without the extra strap. The back pocket is so convenient. I will say the back pocket is where I often end up putting my phone, my wallet, um, just all the things that are a little bit more I want to keep secure because then when it's on my back, I know you know there's no way anyone can get to it. And then the front is so easy to open and it's so easy to just reach in there and get everything. But one thing with this one is when I fill it, if there's something on the bottom and there's stuff stacked on top, it stacks up um, on top of each other. You have to kind of like rummage through to get to the bottom. Whereas this one, when you open it up, you can see the whole entirety of it, all the contents in the bag and you don't have to do that. These side pockets, super handy. Um, on the sides here, like chapstick, lip products, uh, even just like keys, wallets, you could put it on there as well. So those pockets are just really convenient. And I love um, that the material is a little bit like more malleable. It's not so stiff like this one, even though this one looks nice because of the structure, I like the, the feel of this nylon. So between the two, as much as both are, you know, have their pros, I would say my favorite is a Rebecca Minkoff Julian backpack. Um, I want to do a quick, just show you guys what fits in here just so you have an idea. So I'll go ahead and start off with the Longchamp first. So first I've got just a catch-all. I'm going to go directly in there. Fits in there. Have a water bottle. Fits in there, easy. Have some sunscreen, some hand wipes, masks, snack, <laughs> chips, Pringles. Uh, chapstick, which I'll put in that little pocket, and some hand sanitizer. And it all easily fits in there, but like I will say, for example, if you know the sunscreen fell to the bottom, so if I wanted to get the sunscreen, I kind of have to dig through all the things to get it, but not a big deal. And then the one thing I will say, when it's all in there like this and you want to close it, it's not so easy with one hand just to close it. Like I'm holding onto the strap here and I, I want to close it there. You can't just close it with one hand. You really have to kind of put it down somewhere or against you. Hold here and then close it because you need that traction. Most of the time I just wear it just like this and I just let this hang because it's kind of annoying to close in. It doesn't just easily snap, it's not magnetic or anything, so you really have to find this and kind of line it up and put it together. Um, not a huge deal, but on like the go, it's just a little annoying to do so, um, but it does make for it to look a little nicer and for added security uh, to take the time to do it. And here it is just filled. And again, you can see kind of how it kind of keeps the structure. Great. So now the same items I'm going to put in to my Rebecca Minkoff, Julian. Let's open this up again. All right. So here we go. I'm going to put my ketchup right here in the center compartment. Goes in there. Lots of other room. Water bottle. Snack. I'm going to put 
the sunscreen, and the side pocket, the mask, and the side pocket, the wipes, the wipes in the back where I usually keep it. And the hand sanitizer, I actually love this top area because I will actually put the hand sanitizer right on here. I'm just kind of hanging it like that, but usually we'll just tuck it in and just close it up like that. And that's it. I still have this pocket completely open if I want to put like my keys. I mean, this one still has, as you can see, lots of lots, lots of room. I can still fit. I can fit like a whole cardigan in here. Um, especially if this is like a gym bag, you can put like a whole gym outfit in there and everything. And um, so this is this one filled. You can see how this one is a little bit more bottom heavy. There is that filled. So there you go. That is my comparison between the Rebecca Minkoff Julian backpack and the Longchamp uh, Le Pliage uh, backpack. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know which one between the two um, you preferred more or even if you don't have which one you think from what I showed you, you think you would like more. Um, like I said, both are great bags. Both are very easy to use, very light, easy to clean. So both would be nice to have. Um, I do like alternating between the two from time to time, but between the two, like I mentioned, I definitely would prefer the um, Rebecca Minkoff Julian. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, handbag, backpack review, um, kind of show you what fits, um, show you the pros and cons. Please leave a comment below if you own any of these backpacks and if so what are your thoughts on them um and if you are new and you love what you saw i would love if you give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe so i can see you again on my next video i hope you guys have a wonderful day i'll see you in my next video bye